Around 60 men who were staying at a homeless shelter in Vancouver last night have been forced to leave temporarily because of a fire. Thanks to a nearby church, they'll have a place to stay for a while, but it could be days before anyone can stay in that building again. Fox 12's Zach Anders joins us live in studio now with the impact that fire is having. Zach? That's right. There were no injuries in last night's fire at Share House. That was it was a rather small fire and contained to only one room with limited damage. But the water released throughout the building by the sprinkler system caused quite a mess. Vancouver fire responded at 1050 PM last night on the third floor. A small fire was burning within a single room of the building. Firefighters extinguished a mattress that was on fire. It was all under control within 15 minutes. But as the people who live at Share House and staff would soon learn, the water damage was extensive. Our fire suppression system works very well and uh, flooded uh, down the next two flight, the next two levels. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, we're, we're grateful for the community response. No one really had any place to go unless the people had relatives or friends and stuff that they could go and stay with. The thing is, they still have provided a way for us to have meals. That's the key thing. They um, went to the trouble of making sure that people would have something to eat. Everyone who was staying there was moved to St. Paul Lutheran Church a few blocks away, where they'll have the option of staying there again tonight as well. Unfortunately, with the fire suppression system out, so too is the stove downstairs, meaning their daily hot meals will have to be bag lunches for a while, adding to the staff's already heavy workload. Now, many of the third floor residents also had their personal items ruined by either smoke or water damage. An investigation into what caused the fire is underway. Reporting live in studio, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.